Hi guys, hey. I'm Kim. I'm Maya. We made it to the Shimane Prefecture. And first off, we went to Matsue Castle, which was about a 15 minute drive from Matsue Station. Matsue Castle is one of the 12 castles in Japan that remain untouched, which is totally amazing. It's also known as the Black Castle. It's a big wooden castle and it does have a black exterior. And the inside was really cool too, right? Yeah. And inside the castle was really beautiful. You can see a lot of artifacts, a lot of like models of the city of Shimane, which is really cool. It's got really steep stairs, so be a little careful when you walk in, but it was absolutely gorgeous. Once you go right to the very top of the castle, you can see a view of Shimane City, which is really, really beautiful. And also, good news if you are a foreigner, you can get 50% off when you go inside, so that's really nice. Um, it was only about $2 in the end to go into the castle, so definitely recommend you go there. After Matsue Castle, we went to Izumo Grand Shrine. Izumo Grand Shrine is one of the most famous and popular shrines in Japan. And supposedly, it's also the oldest shrine in Japan as well. So according to the artifacts, the history dates back to 700s. And the guy that's worshipped there is called Okuninushi, who was the deity of the land of Japan and also the ruler of Izumo City, where the shrine is located. And later on, he became the deity of marriage and a good relationship, which is why the shrine is also known for that as well. And once you get to the shrine, you see an amazing tori gate and there is amazing row of trees. It looks absolutely gorgeous. That was so yeah, massive trees, really beautiful nature. You walk straight into the shrine. And then once you get inside there, you also see stones shaped like hearts as well, which is also yeah. really cool. And what's unique about this shrine is that when you go up to pray, you don't clap twice. Like normal shrines, you clap four times. And the reason why you do that is because, like I said, it's known for marriage or a good relationship. So you usually clap twice for yourself, but there you clap twice more for your partner or your future partner. Mm. And it's something you only do there, so that was a cool experience. Mm. And the next day we went to the Adachi Museum of Art. It's known to have the most beautiful Japanese style garden in all of Japan. It's absolutely gorgeous. The only thing is that you can't walk into the garden itself. I mean, there's some areas where you can walk in a little bit, but most of it is behind a glass window, but it's still absolutely beautiful. Uh, also, another tip is that if you're a foreigner, you do get half price to go in there as well. Yeah, so, it was a bit costly, but yeah. because you get the half price off, and because no one can enter the garden, it's maintained perfectly beautiful, so it's definitely worth it. You should definitely check it out when you're in Shimane Prefecture. Hmm. And after that, we went to Iwami Ginzan, which is the most famous silver mine in Japan. It was founded in 1526, which is about 30 years after America was found. Isn't that crazy? It goes way back in the history. So also when you go to this area, you will find a bunch of free tour guides because they're trying to boost tourism in this area. So if you want to just see this area and if you want to kind of get more explanation on what's going on inside and you know, explanation of the history, then definitely you should try and get one of these tour guides. It's free of charge and you also get half price going into this place as well if you're a foreigner. So I think it's really great that they are doing these things because it encourages people to go and visit a lot of different places in the Shimane Prefecture. And today, we went kayaking in the Go River. It costed about $15 per person, and you get to kayak for two hours and a half, and you also get an instructor for an hour. So kayaking is not something unique to Shimane Prefecture, but because there's abundance of nature in Shimane Prefecture and around this area, or all in Japan, there are a lot of activities you can do to appreciate all that nature. And this time, we just decided to go kayaking because it looked really, really fun. So that's all for this prefecture, it was absolutely beautiful, lots of many different shrines, temples, castles and also nature all into one. And now we are off to the Hiroshima prefecture, so we'll see you then. Bye! Bye.